Hello, my name is Neil Castles. Today I'm going to show you how to deploy two Steel Connect virtual gateways into two Steel Connect sites. I've started off with an almost new organization. Um, the only change I've made is the addition of a second site, as you can see here. So if we go down to appliances, And what we'll do is add an appliance for each site. And so for each one, we'll just go ahead and create a virtual gateway. And deploy it into the respective site. Just do the same thing for site number two. It's a good idea at this point to take a note of maybe the last couple of digits of the serial number so you can identify which virtual gateway is assigned to which site. So the next step is to click on the appliance itself. Scroll down a bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a virtual image for the appliance. You can see there's a number of options here, but I'm going to use VMware vSphere as I'll be installing it onto a ESXi server. We just do the same thing for site two. You can see that the image is built successfully and we can go ahead and download it. And the same for site two. Now we'll switch to the ESXi server. And you can see here that I've got two vSwitches created in networking. The first vSwitch is connected to a physical network that provides DHCP and is routable to the internet. The second vSwitch just has two port groups. Uh, we're going to use one each for the internal interface for the virtual gateways. So I'll go to File. Deploy OVF template. Browse, navigate to the download folder. And if you recall, the serial number ending in 57 was the virtual gateway belonging to the HQ site. So we'll install that one first. Name it HQ Virtual Gateway. Assign to a data store. Assign the networking. So the source network for the bridged interface is the one that connects to your uplink port so that's your WAN facing port and that's the one that we want to receive a DHCP address so we want to leave that one in VM network and we'll add the, the other network interface which is our internal port to one of the port groups which aren't associated with a physical interface. So 
select this to power on after deployment. And there we are. That's one virtual gateway deployed. It's a very simple and fast process. Now if we go back to our Steel Connect Manager, go back to the Appliances Overview, we should see that appliance come online as it powers up and receives a DHCP address. So we can see now that the virtual gateway has just come online on the Steel Connect Manager. So we'll go ahead and deploy gateway number two. Select the second downloaded OVA. And we'll just quickly run through the same steps as we did previously. Again, for the WAN side interface, we want it on the network that can receive a DHCP address. And for the LAN interface, on the private vSwitch. Select the power on after deployment. completed successfully. Now if we go back to the Steel Connect Manager we should see that virtual gateway also come online. And there we go, we see both gateways now online. With the default configuration, both gateways will be a member of the Auto VPN WAN. And within a few moments, we should see a VPN tunnel established between the two gateways. Now we can see the VPN tunnels have established and we would now be able to route traffic between the two sites. So that concludes the video. Thank you very much for watching.